The Eclaro team is the best team I've ever worked with in the laser space. Uh, Shlomo Asa, the brains behind the development of this laser, has a long history in the laser space of developing new technologies. But this is a leap forward in technology, in my opinion. The histologic effects that I see, uh, the clinical effects I see, the healing times, the downtime, all much shorter than anything I've expected, with our results better than anything I could have predicted as well. Make this a very unique device. Uh, and it's gotten me excited to be a part of this team. I feel very honored and lucky to be the chief medical officer of Aclaro. When uh, Shlomo Asa, Dr. Asa, called me uh, to ask me to be the chief medical officer, I was extremely excited just because it was him. Once I started looking into the device, I became much more excited. Understanding the unique nature of the way the pulses are delivered, the small diameter of the beam, uh, the resulting histologic response. I was very fortunate to have been able to do the histology study on various modes of the laser together with some scientists uh, who I've worked with before at the University of Pennsylvania who are now in the private sector. We looked at these biopsies and found that, you know, relative to the tremendous clinical response of erythema and, and you know, changes in the dermis, we see changes in the dermis with stratum corneum changes on histopathology or, or superficial epidermal uh, changes to the proteins. We see major clinical effects. We also see inflammation, you know, from the device because we don't get extracellular matrix, new collagen, new hyaluronic acid, gags, proteoglycans, or elastin without inflammation. I can't think of a single situation where we can make new skin without inflammation. And the inflammatory response from this laser lasts a week to two weeks, yet clinically, you know, we see erythema, the healing is extremely rapid, and the injury that you see under the microscope is very superficial, unless you mean it to be deep if you're drilling deeper in the skin. But even with superficial injury, we're seeing a tremendous response in terms of erythema and clinical improvement. It's really quite remarkable. Um, the laser itself is, first of all, it's a beautiful box. Uh, it's pretty funny to watch the team, the engineers get so excited, uh, as, as I do, like you're, you know, you're building a sculpture. It's actually a laser device, but it's quite beautiful. It's ergonomically so easy to use, easy to move, and it's fiber delivered. So you're not wrestling with an articulated arm, and that's a, an enormous advantage. Um, so I love the ergonomics. The laser is extremely, extremely fast. Uh, depending on the setting, I've treated a full face in four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, depending uh, on the settings that I'm using, but it's extremely fast. And the fact that we don't need to use a topical anesthetic saves me you know, an hour plus on each, each patient, which is huge. Because with a fast laser and having you know, one of the only ones in the area, there's big demand. So um, you know, it's nice to be able to have quick turnover for the office. I could not be more excited to be working with the Eclaro team as chief medical officer. I've been in the laser space for over 30 years, and I can say that I've never been more excited than I am about this particular device. Um, and the reasons are threefold. Number one, the team behind it is, is just fantastic. It's the best team um, I've ever worked with. Shlomo Asa, the uh, developer of this device, the inventor has a long history in laser field and a long history uh, as my friend. So how fun is that, working with brilliant people that are also your friend? Number two, the device itself, the ergonomics, the speed with which you can treat, the reliability, the fiber delivery, uh, its beauty, which you don't think of that in a laser, but it's a nice value added, certainly to nerds like myself and Shlomo, we love it. And then the clinical results, I mean, that's the most important part. Um, people are getting much more rapid healing times. Um, I'm not using topical anesthetics so far. 
Uh, so that means quicker treatments, less time in the office, and the clinical results are much better than what I expect given the lack of pain and the quick healing. And, and also, uh, I've been blessed to be able to do the histology, you know, be able to look under the microscope at the effect. And the effects of this device are very interesting. Even with stratum corneum changes only, which is, you know, devitalized tissue, right? We're seeing tremendous erythema, so you know you're getting effect in the dermis. Superficial epidermal uh, injury, again, tremendous inflammation as evidenced by erythema, but also we're seeing an inflammatory spon response from mild treatments or more deep treatments one to two weeks after treatment. You don't get extracellular matrix changes, collagen, elastin, glycosaminoglycan, proteoglycans. You don't see that in the absence of inflammation. Inflammation is the vehicle through which our dermis remodels itself. And the remodeling that I see uh, following treatment is quite dramatic given even minor injuries. So, uh, you know, I'm very excited to continue working with the Ultra Clear. I've been working with it a long time and I feel like I'm still discovering new things every day. So um, by all means, you know, my advice is to use the device. Do not take my advice, do not take anyone else's device on any la laser that people are telling you to get or that it's great, use it. And then ask the patients, ask the people you treat, what do you think? You tell me. Because I can tell you, when I do laser studies and I'm conservative, so I'll start, you know, barely turn the laser on. And as you creep up in energy, you start to see threshold effects. And patients all know, if you're treating 30 people, you know, 28 of them will see a response right at the same dose. So patients know, ask the patients, what do you think of the treatment? How does your skin look? Uh, I've done one, completed one clinical trial, and patients are extremely excited and happy. And the, you know, the digital um, blinded photograph reviews look fantastic. And we've now started another study using even a different mode of the laser. Uh, and the results so far seem to be the same, you know, very exciting. The other thing I'm excited about with this device is the excitement that's generated from others, from other KOLs, from key opinion leaders in the laser space, from my friends in the laser space who I trust. They'll be the first ones to tell me, I like this device, I love this device, I hate this device, whatever it is. And my colleagues, everyone that has gotten involved with the Ultra Clear is as excited as I am. Maybe not in the same way, because they probably get out more than I do, but um, they are extremely excited. And it's been fun to work with the team we've put together. I'm able to work with a group of, of experts and KOLs, key opinion leaders, in the laser space, and we're all learning from one another. One of the best things about the Eclaro team is that they listen to what I and other KOLs, key opinion leaders, have to say about the device. If we say we need a different pattern, more density, less density, higher fluence, lower fluence, uh, you know, whatever changes we want to see, they're translated like literally within weeks, sometimes within a week if it's a software change, so that we can adapt the laser to what we're seeing. And, you know, we're, we're saving months and years of laser development. The Eclaro team has a unique approach to management. They listen real time to what we have to say about the laser and what we want. And the changes come down the road, you know, within days or a week even of what we want if it's a software change. Even hardware changes happen within a month or less. So in summary, I, I couldn't be more excited to be working with the UltraClear and the Eclaro team. I feel grateful uh, and honored to be a part of this team. And as chief medical officer, I feel a strong responsibility to bring in the best researchers and, and clinicians to develop this device, see what it can do, and guide the clinical development of this company into the future.